Castles have a special magic that fascinates us, evoking legends, lore, and full-fledged fantasy. The soaring architecture and lush gardens of castles takes us back to the worlds of our childhood fairy tales. Palaces and castles play an important part in telling a region's rich history all around the world. Their legendary halls and sky-high towers tell us of the triumphs and tragedies of their rulers. In addition, their ornate and timeless designs provide in-depth architectural lessons. But castles are not always about history. It is also about the luxury and royalness they provide. So, in today's video, we will take a look at 10 of the most luxurious castles in the world. Hello guys, welcome back to Luxury Royale. But before we dive into the video, drop a like and subscribe to our channel. Alright, let's begin. Number 10. Dromoland Castle, Ireland Want to live like a royal on your trip to Ireland? One of the best places to do it is at Dromoland Castle Hotel in County Clare. Dromoland Castle, or Cushlen Drom Olen in Irish, is a 19th century castle in Ireland converted into a luxury hotel. It is operated as a five-star luxury hotel with a golf course, with its restaurant, the Earl of Thomond, being awarded a Michelin star in 1995 under head chef Jean-Baptiste Molinari. The current building dates back to 1835. However, the first building constructed here seems to have been a tower house built in the 15th or early 16th century. It is entirely built of dark blue limestone with finely chiseled artistry. The attractive lawns and woods cover approximately 1,500 acres of land. Views of the River Shannon and Fergus, which resembles a vast inland lake with an island in this part of the country, can be seen from some of the eminences, making Dromoland one of Ireland's most attractive and desired residences. You can choose from eight different styles of rooms at Dromoland Castle Hotel to make you feel like royalty. From classic rooms to the Brian Boru suite, this castle offers you the epitome of luxury. Number 9. Chateau de Crayer, France The Hotel Chateau de Crayer is a private mansion in Rheims, nestled discreetly in 17 acres of land. On the saint Nicais hill, Chateau de Crayer is an example of an employer's home incorporated into an industrial complex, as it was conceived at the turn of the 19th and 20th centuries. Jean-Alexandre Pomeray, a well-known French champagne maker, built the Chateau de Crayer for her daughter Louise Pomeray between 1902 and 1904. The entire structure is built of freestone on two levels with a slate and zinc attic floor. Marble stairwells, salons adorned with gilt-framed oil paintings, hallways with darkest claret-red padded wall coverings, finely polished silverware and antiques are everywhere. The royal decor extends to the rooms. There are only 20 rooms. All of them are special, and none of them looks similar. All the rooms come with heavy drapes, lavishly patterned fabrics, and antique furnishings. All bathrooms are different. Some are marble, some have showers, and others have tubs. But they all come with branded toiletries. The hotel can organize everything from horseback riding to golf and tennis and activities like yoga and wine tastings. Number 8. Neuschwanstein Castle, Germany Neuschwanstein Castle is a 19th century historicist castle in the German state of Bavaria. King Ludwig II of Bavaria commissioned the palace as a retreat. 
Construction of the castle began in 1869, but was never completed. The castle was intended to be the king's private residence until he died in 1886. Many of the rooms are still unfinished, with only 14 completed before Ludwig's death. The castle was opened to the public shortly after his death. More than 1.3 million people visit each year, with up to 6,000 arriving every day. The total floor area is nearly 6,000 square meters. Despite its romanticized medieval design, Louis insisted on having all of the latest technological conveniences. The opulent structure includes a walled courtyard, an indoor garden, spires, towers, and an artificial cave. Neuschwanstein also has running water throughout, including flush toilets and hot water in the kitchen and baths and a forced air central heating system. An elevator from the kitchen three stories below serves the dining room. Louis even made sure that the castle was connected to telephone lines, even though very few people had telephones at the time of its construction. Number 7. Inverlochy Castle, Scotland Inverlochy Castle Hotel, originally known as Inverlochy Castle, is a 19th century Scottish baronial castle. Inverlochy Castle sits in the foothills of the mighty Ben Nevis, surrounded by some of Scotland's most beautiful scenery. It is roughly two miles away from the 13th century Inverlochy Castle after which it was named. After succeeding his father as Baron Abinger in 1861, William Scarlet built this baronial residence in 1863. Queen Victoria spent a week at Inverlochy during an 1873 visit to Balmoral, remarking, I never saw a lovelier or more romantic spot. Joseph Hobbs, a Canadian entrepreneur, bought the house and estate in 1944. Hobbs's son rebuilt the castle into a hotel after inheriting the property, which opened for the first guests in 1969. Each of the 17 bedrooms comes with its own private bathroom, has its own distinct decor and style, along with spectacular views of the grounds and surrounding mountains. Leisure activities at Inverlochy include tennis, fishing and clay pigeon shooting. Dining at Inverlochy Diner is a memorable experience, with each room adorned with period and exquisite furnishings gifted to Inverlochy Castle by the King of Norway. Number 6. Hearst Castle Estate, USA Hearst Castle, formerly known as La Cuesta Encantada, is a historic castle in San Simeon, located on the central coast of California. The castle was built by publishing magnate William Randolph Hearst and his architect Julia Morgan between 1919 and 1947. Hearst Castle is now a museum and a California state park open to the public. Hearst Castle features 42 bedrooms, 61 bathrooms, 19 sitting rooms, 127 acres of gardens, indoor and outdoor swimming pools, tennis courts, a movie theater, an airfield, and the world's biggest private zoo during Hearst's lifetime. The Doge's Suite symbolizes the mansion's luxury. It was inspired by the Doge's Palace in Venice and was reportedly reserved for Hearst's most important guests. The sitting room has velvet-covered walls, and the 18th century painted ceiling was once part of an Italian palazzo. Besides that, Hearst's extensive collection of antiques and artworks are prominently displayed in the suite and throughout the mansion. Hearst died in 1951 and La Cuesta Encantada became a California state park three years later. It has become one of the state's most popular attractions, with over a million visitors each year. Number 5. Castle of Obidos, Portugal the Castle of Obidos is a well-preserved medieval castle 
located in the Portuguese district of Leiria, and it is one of the seven wonders of Portugal. This castle is rich in history, with medieval features dating back to the 9th century. The castle was given to Queen Santa Isabel as a wedding present by King de Denise during their wedding that took place on site. The service floor is on the first level. The second level is the reception area. The eastern core has a bar, while the remaining wings are bedrooms. All the rooms at the castle of Obidos are air-conditioned, and it offers a private bathroom with a full range of amenities. The formal dining and living rooms, as well as the kitchen and bedrooms, are located on the third level. At the tour desk, you can arrange activities like hiking and horseback riding. At the castle of Obidos, you can stay in the castle and have a true medieval experience. Or you can stay in the Casa do Castelo, which is situated next to the castle, where you will have an experience closer to that of living in town. Number 4. The Kentucky Castle, USA The Kentucky Castle, also known as Castle Post, is a castle that is part of a 50-acre estate near Versailles, Kentucky. The original owners began its construction in 1969 and have since changed ownership, undergoing a substantial renovation in 2004. Real estate developer Rex Martin and his wife, Caroline Martin, began construction of the castle after returning from a vacation to Germany and being impressed by the architecture and many famous buildings they saw there. Today, it operates as a farm-to-table restaurant, boutique hotel, event venue and spa. The castle and its grounds are open to the public for tours. Some of these tours even include a chef's choice lunch at Castle Farms, the castle's restaurant. This farm-to-table restaurant sources ingredients from local farms but tries to produce as much as possible on the castle's own 50-acre farm. The reconstruction was completed in the fall of 2008. Twelve luxury suites, a library, a game room, a music room, a dining hall, a ballroom, a swimming pool, a formal garden, a basketball court, a bar and a tennis court on new additions. Number 3. Palace of Versailles, France The Palace of Versailles is a world-famous palace in the French city of Versailles. Every year, 15 million people visit the palace and the gardens of Versailles, making it one of the world's most popular tourist destinations. The total ground span is about 86.1 million square feet. King Louis XIII built a chateau on the location of the Palace of Versailles, which Louis XIV expanded in three parts, from 1661 to 1715. There were around 350 residential units in the palace, ranging from multi-room apartments to places the size of an alcove. The size and location of a person's room were determined by their position and relationship with the king. The estate of Versailles has had a huge impact on the history of art, architecture and horticulture, and it is considered a significant part of the world's cultural heritage. In 1979, UNESCO designated the palace and park as a World Heritage Site. The French Ministry of Culture added the palace, its gardens and several of its subsidiary structures to its list of culturally significant monuments. Number 2. Schönbrunn Palace, Austria Schönbrunn Palace, located in Heitzing, Vienna, was the main summer residence of the Habsburg rulers. Schönbrunn was built to challenge the Palace of Versailles in terms of baroque beauty, cultural relevance and political importance. But the House of Habsburg lacked the financial means to match its French rival. The 1,441-room Rococo Palace is one of the country's most important architectural, cultural and historical monuments. 
The castle and its extensive gardens have a 300-year history that reflects the changing tastes, interests, and aspirations of successive Habsburg monarchs. The state apartments are the most impressive display in the palace. Much of the interior decoration is in the Rococo style, with red, white, and 23 karat gold as the dominant design features. After the monarchy fell in 1918, the newly formed Austrian Republic took ownership of Schönbrunn Palace and preserved the beautiful rooms and chambers as a museum for visitors. The palace was used for important events throughout the 20th century, including the historic meeting between John F. Kennedy and Nikita Khrushchev in 1961. It has been a popular tourist destination since the mid-1950s. The palace and its gardens were designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1996. Number 1. Ashford Castle, Ireland On the top of our list, we have Ashford Castle. It is a medieval and Victorian castle that has been expanded over the ages and converted into a five-star luxury hotel. It is located in Lough Corrib in Ireland. Ashford is an 800-year-old castle that sits in a 350-acre estate. It has 83 traditional, elegant rooms and suites, and all of them are individually furnished and decorated. The hotel features six restaurants and three bars with a team of world-renowned chefs and sommeliers. Bathrooms feature a combined bath or shower unit and designer toiletries. And guests can enjoy the 18-hole golf course and other recreational facilities such as two outdoor tennis courts. A sauna and a fitness center are among the other recreational options. It was previously owned by the Guinness family and is a member of the Leading Hotels of the World organization. So, with that, we have come to the end of our video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like and subscribe to our channel. See you all in the next video.